lucky. Oh, holy shit. Um, that's, that's wild. Uh, is shooting journals a war crime? Dude, everything is a war crime, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> everything. Yeah. People think war is played out like Call of Duty. Those guys survive because they had fucking gear on. Like, you'll survive the top of the hour ad break if you have a subscription on. You know what I mean? Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, if you want an ad free broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free. We'll switch Prime. This will allow you to no longer see the fucking ads. Not today, Mr. Putin, man. You know? NatSec libs have gone too far. Dude's out here begging for peace and y'all keep trying to make him into a Marvel character. Jesus Christ, dude. Everything is a Marvel movie. I swear to fucking God. Anyway, here's the one minute ad break now. We're going to watch the, the People's Convoy trailer from friend of the show, Andrew, and Channel 5 right now down the border to any um, transnational movement of international long-haul truckers that were carrying goods um, if they weren't vaccinated. You know, I'm oh, man, Andrew is geared up, by the way. Look at this fit, dude. He's fitting in real good. Sure, if I were a sitting president in America and I looked at what happened to Trudeau in Canada and him trying to write it off as a fringe small minority only to have 50,000 trucks going and, you know, be a laughing stock amongst his own people, I would be thinking, do I want that little song and dance and dog and pony show in my country? And I would be thinking, not really. And then, wow, look, look, Russia and Ukraine, look at that going off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a geopolitical expert. I think the timing is very interesting. They can easily fake a war if they wanted to. All they would do is just like film a, a few things and then put out in the news what they want. Putin is doing the right thing. He's taken out uh, the Kazarian Mafia. The man's not an evil man. Here's the thing. The media is doing what they're doing and sharing the, excuse my French, the crap about him because he's over the target. Do you think there's even a war going on out there? No, not at all. The deep state has always made Putin to look like the bad guy, um, but he's a good guy. Freedom! message, if I don't mistake it, is very simple. Oh. Are you an American? Do you believe in freedom? I don't know why my fucking AC is broken in my house. Sorry. And are you freaking willing to fight for it? My favorite thing about this entire fucking conversation, we already saw this earlier. My favorite thing about this is other than like the obvious brain broken weirdos with their fucking takes about how uh, they're brave broken weirdos who are like, yeah, <laughs> Vladimir Putin is a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. I tell you what, he's a good fucking guy. He's fighting against the global new world order. I don't know where the fuck they're getting these takes from, but I hear that a lot. Um, <laughs> but the funniest thing is that no one gave a shit about this because everyone was focusing on Ukraine. The whole point of this protest was to try and get, you know, attention to the American version of the trucker convoy, and no one cared about it. Yo. You want to know why? Because everyone was focusing on Ukraine. Do you think there's even a war going on out there? No, not at all. The deep state. I mean, this guy has a Kennedy shirt on. He's literally a QAnon freak, so... message if i don't mistake it is very simple are you an american do you believe in 
freedom, and are you freaking willing to fight for it? Friggin'. I can't wait. I cannot wait for this fucking video, dude.